jank little moment. And I actually am starting right here to do the Tenobi puzzle again. And I know how to get through this now, so let's do it on the first shot at least. I'll try. So what you want to do is you need strength, of course, but you want to move this folder to the left. Let's do it in a second. Okay, there we go. And this folder is to the right. And then after that, you want to push this one all up to this hole, or switch your panel, or however you want to say it. This one up to this hole, or panel, whatever, and all that. Um, next, you want to do push this one all the way up. There you go. And you would think to push these two to the side where they're really close to each other with the hole and panel or whatever. But you actually want to move them to move this one to the side like that. And then move it up. And there's a lot of ways you can mess up this puzzle. So be careful, you know. Let's move this one to the right. And then this one to the right. It kind of is confusing if you don't know what you can actually step in the little dirt patches or holes or whatever. Because the first time I played this, I was really struggling because I thought you couldn't move on that hole or something or walk on it to move around. So we move this one to the left. There you go. And then finally, you can move each one to the um, proper hole. Like, for example, this one can go to this hole. Like that. And this, whole, this puzzle takes a lot of practice and patience the first time around. So eventually you'll get it, you know. Don't worry about that. And after that, it just causes a... You know, an earthquake basically in the in the little um, puzzle area. And if you mess up, you can just exit and come back in, and the folders will be in the default place. So now I'm gonna cut back to where I was out south of the Civil Canyon more. So I'll put a repel on. I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are. So I have flame up front. So we're gonna rock this. I was given the possible education to become the strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. That's something to love to, you know? It's crazy. So here's a cool trainer. And it's Persian. Okay, I'm gonna just use an easy flamethrower on this thing, so we'll be in good shape. Do gone, huh? Okay, I'll switch out. I'm gonna switch to Venus and use a sleep powder and a solar beam combo, as I like to call it. It may be not considered a combo to the fullest, but it's still something to work with. So let's use sleep powder on it first. There we go. Fall asleep, my little Dugan. It's not actually my Dugan, <laughs> it's the trainer's Dugan. And I'll get a solar beam on it. If it can stay asleep, that'd be awesome. Oh, come on! Huh, that's gonna be super effective now. You had to wake up, Dugan. You had to ruin all my plans. You had to get a quick hit too. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Fine, I'll just finish with the sword beam. Enough said. And that's all she wrote. For that Pokemon, at least. Traffic, huh? Okay, we're gonna go to... I kinda want Flame to be the first one to get to level 64, so I'm gonna just put out Flame. I know I might be using him a lot, but I just really may want to make sure. He's almost halfway to level 64 anyway, so this is the right time for him. I'm gonna try Fire Blast, and when I try Fire Blast, I miss. And you use Side Beam, okay. I'm just gonna go with the Flamethrower then. I tried to be cool and use a Fire Blast, but I'll just use a Flamethrower instead. You know, Draft Break, as a kid, it really freaked me out that its tail had a separate face. And I was always wondering what happened when it had to use the bathroom, but obviously Pokemon don't use bathrooms. Even in the anime, so. It's a, it's a lost cause with that, so. Yeah. Okay, Rapidash. We're gonna use Dragoon on this. Uh, I want to use Wackable, because Dragoon might have other chances to, you know, faint other Pokemon, so I'm going to go with my speedy Duck Trio here. And we're going to use, uh, let's try an Earthquake, it's the same type of attack bonus, too. Yeah, one AKO, oh, nice. 
Nine tails, huh? Okay. Um, we'll, we'll keep it. In. Yeah. I'm gonna be trying to be lucky with the one hit KO of the earthquake too on nine tails. I'm pretty sure since it's not even low thirty it'll work. I was right, yay. That's nice. Thank you, I feel like I've been set free by listening to you. That's nice. Don't overwork yourself, so that's always good. And I'm open to a phone you have to do anything. So let's just surf right here. And I'm gonna start by going to the left and putting another appell on. Wait then. I'll just keep my appell off because, yeah, there's something up coming up. Now don't check, check, if you check these rocks, it's most likely you're not gonna be high on this belt, so check them anyway. I'll check that one when I get back outside. This is the Dilfo Chamber, and there are different chamber names, meaning, depending on what chamber you wanna go to or what unknown you wanna find, you will find it here. So yeah, here, for example, this is an unknown P for Peter, <laughs> P as in Peter. <laughs> and we're gonna, let's just try to catch this just for the pack of it, you know. Let's see, I use four ultra balls, we gotta use an ultra ball. I know I have a really easy catch rate as far as I'm concerned, so let's see. One, two, three, click. Maybe I was just lucky with that, but we caught it. Now for nicknames for unknown, I just use, I just say unknown and then P, or whatever the letter it is. I don't know why I've always done that, so I'm going to do it now, because I'm just used to that. So unknown, and they spell, it's like unown, like you own something, I thought that was a really cool they spelled it. But it's not that big of a deal, I think, to some people, but it's to me. So unknown P. Fighting, let's place in the box side. Now let's see another one, just out of this chamber. So, let's see, for example, this one is a J, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a J, so. Uh, no, why, why did I say J? It's a G. That looks like a G, my bad, I zoned out there. So, let's use another Ultra Ball. I might not be as lucky this time, so we'll have to see. One, two, three, poof. Ah, what? <laughs> as soon as I thought it would poof, or you click, you know? And no one knows it in power, so there's an argument or a saying that unknown is a really bad Pokemon because it only knows that it can only learn unknown. Or it can, wow, well, fail. It can only learn um, hidden powder. Powder, fail again. Hidden power, I can't talk today. So, yeah. It's like Ditto with the Transform. Ditto only knows Transform, I can only learn Transform or no Transform. It's kinda like that, but Ditto can actually intimidate any the Pokemon and use its moves, which I thought was really cool. Cause you could be really strategic with that. Okay, Unknown. And then... Wait, Unknown to G. G for Grodel. Yeah. I just place the box fighting. Okay, we're done with this chamber basically. So I checked this rock no item. Oh and also in these waters, if you surf around and be lucky, it's kind of a I think it's like a really low chance. If I were to think off the top of my head, I think it's only like a five percent chance. But you can actually find Mantine in here, which I thought would be pretty cool. If you know what I mean. Okay, that ruin guy looks suspicious. Yeah. Let's fight him. Do you know anything about this stone chamber? Well, I know that there's unknowns in there because I unlocked the Tenobi key. I always got Tenobi for some reason. So, yeah. Okay, an Onyx. I'm not really that concerned. I think I think I can find it with one frame to it, considering it's only level 50 and I'm 13 levels ahead of it. So, let's see. Yes, I knew it. Okay, cool. Get a little of experience, and there we go. That was uncalled for, you didn't have to be so rough. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I used a flamethrower, fire attack on a rock snake of yours, known as Onyx. I deeply apologize. Take this cake as my apology. <laughs> yeah. You know, speaking of cake, I'm, when I did my Super Mario 64 um, 
not LP, but walks do. Because I would, I would prefer walk -throughs, but LPs and walk are essentially the same thing. Except they have a slight difference in definition. Okay, I think this is Z. If I were to think... Uh, um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna skip out on this one. I'm gonna run into one more battle. So yeah, let's we'll see what that is. But like if it, I didn't want to spend Super Mario 64 and the walks that I did. Is like, I've always thought that the cake is a lie, but you actually get it at the end. Spoilers if you haven't played Super Mario 64. So if um yeah, I always thought it was a lie, but it's actually real, it's not a lie. You get it at the end of the game. So it's really cool. I think this is the unknown K for um K for Kit Kat. K for Kit Kat, let's use that. Okay, I'm gonna use another, I'm gonna use my last Alch Fall on this thing. And this will be the last of the unknown catching. I'm just catching random ones just to show them off. Just to show them off and try to break free. Come on, unknown. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna switch out to my shiny primate here. Let's go, bonkers. It's your time to shine. Maybe I can help weaken this down. It's gonna use hidden power because that's the only move I can learn, really. So, yeah. I'm gonna use rock smash just because it's the weekend and my it might not faint it. Okay, there we go. I lowered it just a little bit, so rock smash should do a little bit more next time around. It can use hidden power all at once, all at once, but you know, it's not gonna really help its case. Yeah, I think it's weakened down just enough, so I'm gonna actually just use a pokeball on it. I forget how many Pokemon I have. I'll get six. Okay. Hopefully this will catch it. I'm pretty sure it will. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, there we go. Let's name it unknown. Okay. And what I think I could have done, which I won't change it now, but it's just for... I'm just saying it. I could have just like put since I call it P unknown, I could have named it P as in Peter, like I said. And then I could have named the G I found as Grodo as the name. But I think unknown K and unknown G and unknown P is fine. And then keep carefully this one since it's K. I'm pretty sure it's K. You can drink me in the comments if I'm wrong. So yeah. So there we go, we can exit out this one. I'm not gonna catch one unknown from every chamber because I would just be tedious. So I'm not gonna really go for it. So now I can put a fresher, I can put a fresher pill on. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, let's use that pill. Yeah, over here's the same thing basically. But I'll check the rocks at least, just to be sure. Okay, that's all. Uh, yeah. Uh, my friend the real TBOC Sam. He's caught every unknown except for I think the question mark and next motion point unknown. But those are really hard to find sometimes. You have to be in the right chamber, which you can look up on like Bulbapedia or Swoopy, um, as Pokemon resources. Um, and look up what chamber has what unknowns in it on your own time, but I prefer just to, you know, cover it a little bit and then just move on with the walkthrough. So I'm not gonna go on a speed kitchen all unknown. On my original cartridge of Pokemon League Green, um, well, I had that level 88 zap what I've tripped on it. Of course, it's still going on and it's still on. But yeah, I caught the one where I had a level 88 zap that I was talking about a few episodes back, or it may have been in the last part actually. But, um, I've caught like all the unknowns except for like, I found the question mark one, I think, and I couldn't find the explosion one. I looked really hard. So you can do that on your own time. I'm not personally going to because, again, it'd be really tedious and take up time. So, I'm not gonna go for it, but feel free for you to go for it if you want. I think one of these big chambers have like really good, really, really unknowns in there or something. I don't remember the statistics about it, you know? And of course, every chamber is definitely shaped. I didn't want to show that off, but kind of every chamber is just shaped differently. No items here, huh? Okay. Let's use, let's follow this guy. Today, I, in addition to our lesson, we come to see the chamber. Are you an archaeologist teacher? <laughs> that makes sense. Oh no, you're a gentleman. My bad. Man, oh, wow. I ground it. Okay, I think a flame can handle this. So we're gonna use a flamethrower on it then. I think it'll want to kill it considering it's not level 50 at all. So let's see. I'm pretty confident. There we go, nice.
Gold.com. I'll switch out for that. I want to I give Venus a blow with the boy too. So yeah. Since, again, Lightning might have other chances considering it can be good against flying types and water types and all this good stuff. I'm going to get the Eager and just get HP back too. So hopefully this one to kill too and I get a lot of HP back. Let's see if I'm right. There we go, nice. And I get a lot of HP back, a good chunk of it. That's what I love about Grass Type of 1, is I know they're weak to a lot of um, types like flying, ice, fire, poison even. Um, psychic if it's um, probably poison, but you know, I'm talking in terms of that. Like pure Grass Type in that matter. But yeah, I'm talking in terms of pure Grass Type, and I like Grass Poison, so psychic stuff, super effective against say, like um, a um, Tangular or something like that. But what I like about it is it has like a challenge because it's so weak to mini Pokemon and its stats on most of them may not be, be that great, but it's still something to work with. I kind of like the challenge. That's why I always like picking the grass type like Grodo or Bulbasaur in this. Well, I chose Charizard in this Foxy, but Foxy Guide, but you know. But yeah, it was really. I thought it was like a challenge ex excluding the first games for Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, Red, Blue, and Yellow because you had. Brock, it was the, if you chose Bulbasaur, you'd be good against Brock immensely in this game because it's four times the grass. And it'd be in Misty too, the water type gym leader, the second gym leader after that. But excluding that, I think it's a really ch hard challenge sometimes. But again, they are easy to raise. But I'm uh, sorry for my rant. Clifford is teaching me how to point a dog or paint. I misread that totally. So, a big red dog on the show PBS Kids Network, or PBS Network for PBS Kids, basically, for kids, made you, what well, learned you how to paint. Did he, like, paw paint with you? Like, paint with your paw? Did he paint with your paw? Did he paint with his paw? I keep on saying your paw, my bad. I don't know. Any games will protect that. I need to drink some water. Hold on. Let me use that, my friend, for it, and I'm gonna drink some water right now. Okay, Smirko fainted in that little segment where I was pausing. I drank some water, but it's really not cool because it's warm. And I don't really drink electric like, warm water unless my throat or mouth is really dry. So that was an exception. Anyway, we might get in trouble for being noisy here. N noisy. I'm misreading everything. I apologize for that. I just don't. I, I'm bad at like dialogue. I've said that so many times in my videos. I'm gonna put a pill on now. There we go. So Clifford was being very noisy because he rocked the island, caused a little um, destruction because he's a big red dog. So I think that's about it for. Um, is that really it for Seven Island? Let me go back and check because I was really um, impatient with that. But I'm gonna check again to the right, make sure I check checked everything. So we got a rune right here. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I checked everything anyway. Okay, not everything over here. And then another ruin, or, ch or chamber, I should say. Oh, the big old chamber, huh? I missed that. Good thing I went back. So let's go all around this island. We're gonna run laps around this little island. And we're gonna use, we're gonna fight this guy right here. And pay a visit to the um, chamber afterwards. And Mystic Pokemon is said to sleep here inside here. Nothing nice. Rune Maniac Benjamin. Okay, let's just flame through on this thing. Let's go, flame. Forget what Pokemon I'm gonna send out. Oh. Grab, okay, I can handle this. Fireblast. Come on, Fireblast, you missed. Now, Rockbox gonna be. That's four times effective on me. This is not good. You fainted in my charge, are you kidding me? You jerk. I 
I'm gonna send out my shiny primate on you. He's gonna go bonkers on you. Now I'm gonna just heal up. I have to revive, so I might as well just use it. Okay, there we go. Let's use Earthquake on me. So be it. Come at me, bro. Well, you definitely came at me, I'll say that. Sorry, bonkers. But you got your little shining, like when you sent you out of the Pokeball, you were all shiny and stuff. Anyway, well, good luck to Flame now. I use Flame Throw, because Flame Throw actually hit most of the time. For that part, so. Yeah. There we go, quick, quick, I'll take it. Next year, I'm guessing if you have a quick Golem as your third Pokemon. Level 64, nice. Fire Spin. Now, you know, it's pretty cool that Venusaur gets the one Solar Beam, and then Fizzy Plant and Frenzy Plant, and then, of course, Flame gets the one Flame Throw and Fire Bath, and then, of course, um, Blastoise gets to learn Hydro Pump and Hydro Cannon, but, and Surf if you want to teach your Surf, which I totally recommend if you have a, if it's Joe Squirtle, and now you probably have a, um, Blastoise at this point, but Fire Spin, I'll, I'll just show you the power and all that, I'm not gonna get rid of any of my moves, but the power is 15, and the accuracy is 70% of the time it'll hit. The full is trapped in an intense spiral of fire that rages 2 to 5 turns. Now, in the original game, moves like Fire Blast and Rap, and I'm pretty sure there was others, but I can maybe not. But you can only but moves those two moves for sure, like Rap, as I said, and Fire Spin. They were really cheap in the original game, but in this game, they were just terrible. Because at least Fire Spin, you could Fire Spin and Rap in the original game, you could actually just spam. Uh, you could actually just spam it and then just be cheap about it, but. It'd still be really annoying in that case. Oh, what would I do that for? It? To stop running Fire Spin? Yes, okay. I don't want to win Fire Spin. Because it's really cheap in the original game. And then in this game, it's just terrible considering to what Blastoise can freaking win. It can win Hydro Pump and Hydro Cannon, which are both really good moves. And Sword Beam is also a good move too. Same with the Frenzy Plant and Fizzy Plant, Frenzy Plant, and then the Blast Burn. But I'm fine with my Flamethrower, Fire Blast, and freaking. Blast burn and fly. I'm, I'm good with that. So now that I'm level 54, I'm gonna switch out. I'm pretty sure I didn't see what Pokemon was coming out, so I'm just gonna start reading. I was hoping it's a rock type or something. Rocky ground. Is it Golem? No, it's in the gravel, of course. When it totally can be a Golem right now, because level 48. Man, dude, you pressed B too much. Like, you pressed it at least, I would say, 20. 20 to be times. Because 25 is when it evolves, and then 20 25 plus 23 is 48. Some yay for math. I use your training get full we restored. So that's nice. I'm not much good. I'm not much good in battle. You'll get it, bro. Don't worry. Okay, let's see here. My note. Moan and chamber. Moni and chamber. Can we put a pawn? I'm pretty sure I still have a pawn. I'm just being paranoid. Yes, I knew it. I knew it, I was being paranoid. So, I think there was just unknown in here, like a special unknown. Maybe it's, since it's the biggest, it'll have like the question mark and exclamation point in this unknown. So, yeah. So you can check that on your own time. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm pretty much wrong, probably, but you can also just correct me in the comments if you want. So, yeah. So, I think that's all we did in... Oh, that's all of Seven Island, really. I'm trying to think here. Um, so if we cover it, let me check on my town map actually, just to be sure. Okay, I'm actually using this thing again. Okay, so we're here in the Tonobi Ruins. We covered this route, which is the Solo Canyon, of this area. Then this was the canyon entrance. We covered north of the Trainer Tower, the water outlet. That was really just a patch of water, which wasn't that big. And we covered over these ruins, and then here's the Tonobi Chambers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered that, because we were just in it, probably. So I'm going to fly back to Seven Island, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So, keep on rocking that control on your GameCube, or Xbox, your Nintendo Wii, yeah, I don't know what I'm going for. So I'll just see you back at Seven Island, you guys. See y'all later. Ha, what's on? We magically popped up right here. I think that does it for the Seven Islands. So I'm going to just end this part off right here, but I'm going to also sail back to Vermillion. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm ready to go... 
rematch the Pokemon League. But I also have to train. So, yeah, um, I'm going to train all my Pokemon up to level 70. So, all my Pokemon here will be level 70, except for, like, Bonkers, because he's not part of my party. But let me go back to Pokemon Center. I'm going to heal up, and then I'll meet you guys back up to Pokemon Center. Outside of it, of course. Here we go, okay. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna actually sell my um nugget and, and whatnot for five thousand pocket dollars. So let's do that right now. So let's sell the nugget. There we go. Nice. Okay, that will get that done. It is okay. I'm gonna fly back to the um Pokemon weekend. I'm sorry if this video is dragging on at all. It's almost over for this part, so don't don't worry about that. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna just have to level grind and get a lot of experience, so I'm gonna do that too. Let's go back to the Indigo Plateau. Let's go inside the, the Pokemon League now. So, yeah, let's do it. So here we go. Yo champ are making a... Oh, you said the same thing, don't you? Yes, I knew it. And yeah, it's now open. If you tried going back there to forge the little cool trainer girl or trainer with it, Let's say we walk in the entrance to the Pokemon League rooms, or the Week 4 rooms, then it really hasn't returned then for you. But if you follow what I did in the Sub Islands, and then you defeat Team Rocket, gave the Sapphire to Celio, and then link the um, PC boxes with the Horn region all that jazz, then you should be good. You know, Seven Island again is optional. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to train all my Pokemon up to level 70 at least. So seven, all of them will be level 70 next time you see it. In the next part, we will take on the first of the week for it. I've decided to show in between individual battles again. Now I'll like speed them up or add music like some people do. I'm going to actually just cover them all. Because I feel pretty confident I can do that in a good amount of time. And now that I have my time went, um, now back to like over 15 minutes, I'm awesome. That's awesome. So it's perfect timing for that. So yeah, I got it back on August 25th, um, of 2013. I waited six months for my copy strike to be possibly removed, and it was, and I'm really grateful for that. And then, you know, the people that, um, you know, were associated with all that problem with, I really am glad that they gave me a second chance and all that. But I've been rambling for much too long. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green Walker part. In the next part, we take on Lori. I'm gonna just, just say her name as I know it's, I'm pronouncing it wrong. You can correct me in the comments all you want, but yeah. I'm bad with names sometimes, you know?